Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me on this lovely Monday evening. It's 8 o'clock GMT, or BST as it is now. 8 o'clock in the UK, 9 o'clock in parts of Europe, and goodness knows what time everywhere else. But as of mere minutes ago, the retiring list for the 2017-2018 annual catalogue has just gone live. And I'm deliberately doing this video to do to explain something to you. Now, if you've come here from my blog, head once, once you've watched this video, head back to my blog so you can go to the retiring list and see it in, in its entirety. If you've just landed here randomly via YouTube, go to my blog so you can get the list in its entirety. So one of the one of the things that I do want to major on particularly on this video, and I don't normally do retiring list videos, um, apart from things will sell fast, but you will see that every single one of our ink pads is on the retiring list. Some will have a little star or something against them that say that they are being revamped. So I wanted to explain that to you. So firstly, we are losing some colours. We are having a colour revamp um, uh, rather than a refresh. So we are having 18 brand new colours joining us. Uh, but we are also having an overhaul of our ink pad. Now, this is the usual one that we've got. This is a brand new one, so same colours here. And that means that every single ink pad is going on the retiring list because it's being restructured or re, uh, reformulated, I think is the terminology. So not every colour is retiring. I'm going to show you the ones that are, but that's why everything is going to be on the retiring list. So the new ink pad style. So this is the old style. This is the new style. This one was designed specifically to fit into our colour caddy. Now Stampin' Up! explained that they that moulds that make these have a shelf life and they actually wear out and our moulds were just coming to the point in time where they actually need to be retired themselves. So they decided that they're doing a colour revamp anyway. Let's do an ink pad revamp as well. So this is the new style. Old style, push and go like that new style open like that and slide cool huh so they are much much thinner they are designed to stack on each other i've got one I've got another one here and i'm going to hide the color because i'm not going to tell you the color just just yet so they do sit on top of each other and they've got little little knobbly well the bottom has got um at the top has got a dimple and then the bottom has got a little knobbly bit there and they clip together and so they can sit on sit on your desk easier. There we go, I'll show you that way around. Um, so they're much thinner. I know I'm going to get questions, will they fit in the ink colour caddy? They do, not perfectly, but they do. And you can still spin them because I've got these two on opposite sides. These were the two I picked up at on stage. So let me explain about the colours. So we are losing five ink colours, although it might only be four of them. And we are losing colours from our the rest of our core lineup. I'm going to bring all of those in and we're getting lots of new ones. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of the new colours too. So what are we losing? Well, we always lose in colours. Let me move those out of the way. We're not losing those, obviously, because we've got new. So we're saying goodbye to Dapper Denim, Emerald Envy, Sweet Sugar Plum and Peekaboo Peach. Are we saying goodbye to Flirty Flamingo? No, we're not. We're keeping Flirty Flamingo. What else are we saying goodbye to? Well, from the Regals collection, we've got a, quite a lot that we're saying goodbye to, and I'm a bit sad that we're saying goodbye to Rose Red. Not so bothered about Always Artichoke. Perfect Plum, Island Indigo, and Elegant Eggplant. Those are leaving us. But seriously, don't be too sad. The new colours are awesome. And from the neutrals, we're losing just one neutral colour, Chocolate Chip. Very sad about that. But we are from the ink pads losing the archival ink. So we're keeping archival basic grey. We're losing archival basic black, but we are getting back tuxedo. Um, we've already got tuxedo by Memento um, and we're getting back black stays on. So they are leaving us. We are from the Brights collection. We're losing Tangerine Tango and Tempting Turquoise. Not overly bothered by either of those. And then from the subtles, we're losing five. We're losing Marina Mist, Pink Pirouette, Soft Sky, Wild Wasabi, and Wisteria Wonder. Oh, I'm going to be so sad to me to, to lose that colour. And actually, well, actually, it was with Pool Pop, uh, with Pool Pass, they were my favourite trio. But I, ironically, I did a team training event on Friday, 
and all of the colours that I use are retiring. So we are getting lots of new colours and there is going to be a little bit of a shuffle around. I will tell you the names of the new colours. I'm not going to show them. I'm obviously not allowed to show you the catalogue, but we've got five amazing new in colours coming. Those are the five new in colours. This is the current in colours. Those ones there. We're now going to have a basics collection, which are those three, white, vanilla and black. We will have a new neutrals lineup. So neutral has a couple of colours in it. Move those ones. So this is our new, oh I'm getting there, neutrals collection. Those are our neutrals, those ones there. So we've got some colour. This is the new Brights collection. So that's not real red. That's not real red. That's a new colour. You can see that um, Flirty Flamingo has moved. That's a new colour. Oh, there's all sorts. That's a new colour. That's a returning colour. Um, there we go. So that is... Oops, I've just sent one round too far. So that's all of the Brights under there. Our Subtles is getting a shake-up with new colours that are going to appear throughout this that I'm showing you here. Look at that. Something's making a comeback. Oh, lots are making a comeback. So those are our Subtles all the way through to there. And then some of our old brights have moved to Regals. So that's Real Red, Cherry Cobbler, Cajun Craze, Pumpkin Pie, Crushed Curry... Um, old Olive, Garden Green, that's a new colour, that's a returning colour, and that's Rich Razzleberry. So, lots of very exciting stuff to go, so shall I show you? That's the colour they're coming back. Very happy about that, so those are my, the two ink pads that I managed to get. I have got a pre-order on to get some of them, some more of the new ones. Um, so in the new catalogue, so if you have been a collector of your ink pads, you will be able to buy just the new colours um, as a set of 16 it is. Um, you can buy just the new Stampin' Right markers so you won't have to buy all of the new collections so you can buy them just as a bundle and you will be able to buy the cardstock just as a bundle. So I love these. I'm just so excited about all of the colours coming. I'm going to be a bit sad to say goodbye to some of the old ones um, but I'm really excited to see the new ones. So some of them are returning. I'm flicking through my catalogue and trying not to show you. So um, yeah, there's there's some that are returning to us that we've seen before. So like Mint Macaron. Um, and there will be others, but there'll be new ones as well. So I'm not going to be showing you the catalogue. I can't show you the catalogue. Um, I will be putting them in the post because they go live on the, the I want to say the 1st of June. Let me just look at the front. It doesn't say on the front, does it say on the back? doesn't sound oh it does first of june it goes live to the public i will be getting catalogues in the post to you all um in towards the end of may if you are a demonstrator you can start buying stuff from the first of may so think about joining me and getting ready to start shopping but i'm very excited but on the retiring list you're going to see all of the ink pads but it's not all of the colors so it's just the ones i showed you which i highly doubt i'm going to get all on my grid paper. Oh, I might actually. Um, let me see if I can get the other ones in. Oh. And a few more. Can I get them all on? Can I get them all on? And then the ink colours that we knew. You're going to love the new ink colours. I'm loving them. Um, are we pretty much on there? I think so. So, Tempting Turquoise, Tangerine Tango, Soft Sky, Wild Wasabi, Wisteria Wonder, Pink Pirouette, Marina Mist, Elegant Eggplant, Island Indigo, Perfect Plum, Always Artichoke, Rose Red, Basic Black, Chocolate Chip, Peekaboo Peach, Sweet Sugar Plum, Emerald Envy and Dapper Denim are leaving us. The rest are on the retiring list because of the casing, not the colour. So go and check it out. There's lots on the list. I have just retired off my shelves. I think it's 105 stamp sets. I've been a demonstrator for five years, just had my fifth anniversary, so I have collected lots. Um, so I've got a nice big gaps, but I'm so excited for the new catalogue. 
Um, but I do go and grab everything you can. I will also say that get get reinkers if you are not replacing. So um, let me grab one for example. So melon mambo isn't going. The casing is coming. They have changed very very slight. Well, they haven't changed the formulation of the ink, but they've added defoamer to it. So the matching reinker to this will work with this and the other way around. But the new style ink pads, which I can't see, are going to have the ink that's got a defoamer in it. So if you aren't changing your ink pad, stock up on the re-ink it because that's going to get replaced or changed too. So, have fun. This was a surprise video, but I needed to explain about the inks. See you all soon.